This video is going to discuss wire tracing with a tone generator. Here we have a tone generator uh, test kit. This here is the tone generator and this is the probe. The tone generator generates a signal that can be heard as, a, as, an, as an audible signal from the speaker of the, of the test probe whenever the test probe is near a wire that is carrying the signal generated by the tone generator. Uh, the tone generator can produce either a continuous tone that you just hear a constant uh, sound out of the speaker that gets higher or lower depending how uh, far or close you are to the wires carrying the signal or you can select one of several different uh, uh, tone other tones out of the tone generator according to your own preferences so let's see here's what the constant tone sounds like it gets louder or quieter depending on how far you are from the from the signal and that should give you an idea as to how close you are to the wire carrying carrying your your sound signal there are other tones available. It really depends on your tone generator. This one has uh, several different ones. Here's a here's another uh, varying tone. Well, there are others, but the point is you can select which one suits you best for your preferences. Now, let's say, for example, you have a uh, you have a a jack or a, an office jack that has no activity on it, and you're trying to figure out where it goes. So here's your wall jack that the the user would plug their their computer or printer into, and you don't know where it terminates on the patch panel. First off, you may want to get a uh, multimeter to check for voltage on any of the pins to see if there's any activity on the uh, on the lines, because if there is, then the tone generator test uh, will not give you results that you can, uh, you can rely on for an effective diagnosis. So assuming there is no activity on any of the, any of the wires going into this plug, you can then plug in your tone generator. The tone generator has either the leads as shown before which you can connect to two wires and they would carry the uh, they would send the sound signal into into the wires they're connected to or you can plug in your RJ11 or RJ45 jack into the jack you are looking to test uh, this is an RJ11 and uses uh, four out of the six pins it added um, four out of the six pins shown here in the RJ11 jack and four out of the eight pins of an RJ45. So we've plugged into our wall jack and the tone generator is already running and sending a signal. So now check for tone here. And there's the other tone that it uh, produces. I really don't like it as much, so I'm going to go with uh, go with that. And you would run you would uh, run the probe along the wire. This would actually go into into your wall. You'd have to know about which part of the wall it goes up. It would probably also go up one of the uh, pillars in an office and through the false ceiling that you can then follow back to the. Uh, patch panel. You would probably only want to do that if you thought there was a break in your line between the wall, the office jack and the patch panel. Uh, assuming there isn't any breaks in the line, you would go straight back to your patch panel and look to see which ports it, the, the signal is being carried on.
hardly anything can be heard there. You may be able to get more clarity by going to the back side of the patch panel and seeing which, uh, which wires it seems to get loudest at. So it seems this is the wire that's carrying the signal. It is hard to read here, but this is port 7, as shown beneath the wires there. And there's port 7 on the front of the panel. But if you want further confirmation exactly where this where that signal is. Well, it's definitely going into port 7, and if you wanted to know which wires have it, it's going in, it's coming in on the blue pair. <laughs> Loudest by far on the blue pair. Uh, alternatively, you can also run this uh, test with the, with the positive and negative leads of the tone generator. So here we're going to remove this RJ11. I've already got an Ethernet cable with an, terminated in RJ45 connected with two wires to the positive and negative leads of the tone generator. And this is actually going to a brown white brown. And we'll run the test again. But first we'll reconnect the wall jack to, to the tone generator. Of course we know it's already coming in on the same on the same line. Just demonstrating that. Just demonstrating that the probe is sensitive to which particular wires the signal is coming in on. So before it was loudest on the uh, blue pair, we know that it's connected to, to the brown pair, so let's see how loud that is. And it's louder on the brown pair. So you can see in this little distance here, you can get significant change in volume, giving you a precise measure or idea of what, what wires are carrying the signal. That concludes this video on wire tracing. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.